Hi, it's Alex. I want to talk today about the work ethic here in the United States, and uh, I want us to question it a little bit. One thing that I see a lot, I see this sort of value system being put forth in the United States, I see it all over the place, that hard work is a good thing, and like people praise hard work, and in the context of like salary jobs, people tend to praise people for working long hours. And I hear this both in how people talk about the hours in their workplace, and also when they're talking outside of work with their friends. They talk about how much they work, uh, talk about how much other people work. Uh, I hear people uh, accuse people of being lazy when they're not working more hours. And I hear people talk about the hours that they work almost like they're wearing a badge of honor, sort of like this, it's, oh, I'm working so hard and it's such a good thing because I'm working so many hours. I find this troubling because, first of all, I have my own personal experience, both with understanding my own productivity and observing the productivity of other people. And also, I've researched this quite a lot. Uh, there's a lot of uh, research in psychology uh, about productivity, ability to concentrate, things like that. And there's this concept of diminishing returns, the idea that like, if you're working a certain number of hours on a task, you reach a point where if you put in an additional hour, you get less out of it than the previous hour you worked. So for example, if I work a 40 hour week, I might get a certain amount of work done. But if I start working a 50 hour week, I'm going to get more done, but I'm not necessarily going to get proportionately more done. Like that last 10 hours, I might be a little bit run down because um, I'm kind of like close to my maximum capacity. And if I were to say up that to 60 hours, it might decrease even more. And I've seen this in workplaces. I have worked 60 hour weeks, and I've seen other people who work varying degrees of long work days, long work weeks. Uh, I've seen both myself and others make mistakes. Like I worked in this consulting firm, and we worked pretty long hours, and I made a pretty bad mistake in a presentation that made our company look kind of bad when we gave the presentation. Uh, and other people made mistakes, like we ended up losing sometimes four or five hours of work because of these little mistakes. And when I think about these things, I'm like, maybe it would be better to work shorter hours so that we're really on, we're really doing the work well. In addition to just making mistakes, sometimes you just zone out. And I know, like, if I only have two hours to get something done, and I know that that's the only time I have to do it, I'm going to buckle down and focus and do it. Whereas like, if I'm at work all day long, I'm going to be like, okay, I can't operate, I can't sort of focus intensely the whole time, so I'm going to take breaks and stuff. Like, that's necessary. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I think that the way we think about productivity in the United States often doesn't reflect that reality. Uh, people talk as if you can just get more done by putting in more hours, when in reality it's more how efficiently and effectively you use your time that matters, and it also matters whether you're well rested. And there's some types of work and some types of problems to solve where you actually need to take time away from it. Like I notice this with any sort of creative endeavor or problem solving endeavor. Like sometimes I get stuck, and sometimes I run out of inspiration, and then I go off and I'm doing other things in my life. I could be doing another type of work, I could just be relaxing, I could be hanging out with friends, I could be traveling somewhere, and I'm exposed to some new experience that gives me a new idea, or maybe I'm not even exposed to anything, I just get a new idea spontaneously, and it's like BAM! Suddenly I know how to do something, like maybe I had writer's block, and suddenly I'm like, I know how to finish this article that I was writing, or I know how to solve this math problem, or I have this wonderful new insight of how to market a product that I was sort of scratching my head about how to market before. There are all these different ways that we can gain these sorts of insights, and they can save us a lot of time. And like, 
those are not hours on the clock, so to speak. So like, I want us to really question the kind of normality of long work weeks. Uh, the, what's considered a normal work week varies a lot from region to region in the U.S., and from subculture to subculture, and within different fields. But there are a lot of fields, a lot of areas of work, where a, a 40-hour work week would be considered short, uh, where much longer work weeks are the norm. And I am asserting in this video that there is a tremendous loss in efficiency associated with that type of work culture. I claim that there are very few people who work 50 and 60 hour work weeks who are truly working efficiently. I've seen this in my own personal experience. I've seen a lot of evidence to back this up. I also look at other countries that have different work cultures. One of them is Germany. In Germany, the norm for a work week is about 35 hours. Some people work more, some people work less, just like the U.S they also get a lot more vacation time in Germany than they do in the U.S. Like, it's fairly common for people in a starting position in a job over there to get a full four weeks of vacation in the year. Some people get even more, some people get a little bit less, but like, the, the amount that's guaranteed over there is pretty high. Uh, contrast with the U.S., uh, a lot of people only get two weeks of vacation in the whole year, some people really don't get any vacation at all. Very different work cultures, very different norms. But the, the German economy is very strong. It's one of the strongest economies in the world. And furthermore, German products are widely considered to be top quality. And from going to Germany and seeing how their society operates and functions, it functions very well. Trains run on time, uh, things are just... they work over there, they work well, uh, there's just less sort of dysfunctionality than you see in the U.S. And so, looking at their work culture, to me that, that proves that you don't need to have long work hours to uh, have efficiency, to have productivity. Um, so I see all these different pieces of evidence. I would really like us in the United States to start challenging work culture. Like, if you see or hear someone being accused of being lazy because they're not working long hours, call people out on it. Be like, hey, what matters is if you get the work done. It doesn't matter how many hours you put in. And you can be like, I've seen people put in a lot of hours and not get the work done, and I want us to focus on results, I don't want us to focus on hours. Uh, I am very emphatic about calling people out on this type of thing, and I would encourage you to do that too. Um, yeah, thank you.